Hello, my name is Eric Dreher. I'm a senior product engineer at Kanji. I'd like to introduce Kim Connolly, a director of product management at Kanji. She oversees the device management side of the house. So why are reporting and data access so important in device management? And how does it fit into an Apple practitioner's overall workflow? I think it's really important that around that trust but verify piece. Um, I think a big thing is no matter what you're doing with whatever provider you're leveraging for device management, being able to show what is going on, having better insights into what's going on within your fleet is really critical. Obviously, we want to make the life of an IT admin easier, but it's also being able to quickly generate reports to give it to your CTO, your CISO, whoever is going to be asking you for information. That really is what we were trying to do with Prism. So you set out to create Prism. What were the goals of going into Prism's development process. What did you and the software developers want to achieve? I think something Kanji does really well today is the ability to dig into a very specific device within your fleet. So if I wanna see what's happening on your device, Eric, see what apps you have installed, I can do that by navigating to the device details page. And so our goal with Prism was really to deliver that level of granularity and insight, but at that holistic fleet-wide level. And so that was kind of our driving force around developing Prism. And then the other priority was really delivering a seamless experience. I think we've all had the joy of using a reporting tool that is clunky and awkward and very difficult to navigate. And you can end up spending a ton of time just trying to figure out how to run something as simple as a report. And so we really wanted to combat that with Prism and make a seamless experience where admins can just jump in, grab the data that's important to them, generate a report that they need to act on or provide to their CISO, their CTO, and then carry on with the rest of their day. So that was really what we were focused on. Can you share an example workflow, Kim? Sure. I, I think far and away the most common piece of feedback we've received is as an admin, I want the ability to see if a particular version of an app is installed across my fleet. And so with Prism, within the category for apps, you'll now be able to filter on the version and see if that particular version is installed across your fleet, and if so, on what devices. What makes Kanji so different? Our goal was really to think about this through the mind of the IT admin. So we wanted to make sure that we were delivering that experience that is focused around their workload, their workflow, and be able to give them an experience that fits in with all of the other pieces of their job. And so we're really just trying to make their job easier with an intuitive and lightweight tool. We also made the decision to build this in-house. So we did a lot of discovery, a lot of investigation. We know that there are a lot of tools that um, IT admins can use today, but we made the decision just from a flexibility standpoint. So wanting to build this in a way that made sense within the Kanji ecosystem and ideally for our Mac admins as well. But we also thought about it through the security lens of making sure that we're owning all of this in-house and we have full control and autonomy over deciding how we want to build this framework. Who do you think is going to be more excited about this, the practitioner or their management? That's a good question. My hope is that it's the practitioner. Um, I, again, approaching this with building with the IT admin in mind, I really hope that this is a tool that is easy to use and something that just makes their life easier. But by extension, I hope that it makes the life of their manager easier because I think we've all you know, known that if you can make your manager's life easier, your life is probably going to be uh, a bit easier as well. So hopefully both. Um, but again, we built this in mind with the IT admin kind of at the core of it. So Kim, what's next? In terms of what's next, Prism is really just the first step in a very large strategy around reporting, data visualization, data insights. So you're going to see a lot more features in the near and medium term future as we continue to build on top of this foundation. But I think the most important thing, and in terms of what's next, is hearing from our customers. We want to hear what's working, what's not working, what attributes, what data is really important, what data are you not seeing that you want us to add. So truly, like, submit those feature requests, reach out to your CSM, give us feedback, because we very much want it as we're developing this roadmap and this long-term strategy. Yeah, I really like our iterative approach. And we value the, the feedback that, that customers give us. Thank you so much for joining us today to share your insights about reporting. I can't wait to see what customers do with Prism. Definitely. Thanks for coordinating all of this. And I'm hoping to hear from a lot of our customers who watch this. So thanks for having me.
Thank you for joining us today. If you want to try Kanji and use Prism, go to kanji.io slash start to get started. If you're an existing customer who wants to get started using Prism, contact your customer success manager today.